right guys here is the most busted wizard build known to man so what you typically see out here is people will be running the headpiece that causes you to become invisible and they'll activate they'll teleport and they'll be invisible and they won't auto attack now if you're somebody like me that likes to auto attack while you're attacking players so you go invisible you start auto attacking you're instantly visible again so what i found works better for me personally is there is a headpiece that every time you teleport right here you increase your your damage for 4.8 seconds now you can run two one of two set pieces and we will showcase the uh, set pieces here shortly. Um, what we are gonna do is we're gonna hide the webcam to show you this, but you want two piece search is a must. And then you can either run four piece gloom or four piece grace. So anytime you damage an enemy five times, you'll do additional damage channeled or persistent ground damage 15% doesn't really matter I think either is very effective because you are single targeting people along with multiple hitting targets so going over this build what I like to do and this is completely busted teleport to increase your damage ice armor reduces the damage you take by 20% ice armor also reduces the amount of continual damage you take Arc Torrent also fires tracking missiles that seek out enemies dealing 9,700 9, damage. You have your spray and pray is what, or sprinkler is what people are calling it. The Arcane Torment does a chaotic orb. And then Ice Armor now continually damages nearby enemies. So the whole point of doing that is you activate your Ice Armor. You activate your torrent, you go in, and then if enemies get too close, you throw a black hole. And then you continue to attack them, and I'm holding shift, playing mouse and keyboard, so I can auto-attack if they're slightly out of my range or not. But, this is the build, and on top of that, with the cursed properties, what I am actually rocking is five-piece nettled, and the whole reason I'm not running uh, six-piece is because continual damage reduced so if i had that active i already have two pieces that have continual damage on them and it would inevitably bring it up to 7.5 percent nerf to myself so i actually turned it off just like i do have an upgraded head piece or chest piece that would increase my damage but it would take away from my fear resistance damage taken and it's death heals party members so it's not considered an upgrade but on my charm i have black hole scorched magic missile arcane torment ice armor whole reason i didn't throw teleport over scorched it's because of uh running pve i like to use the scorch balls so um that's my build i hope you enjoy this montage of me going around killing people and showcasing the amount of damage and how easy this build is to accomplish personally i find this build very boring it takes really no skill other than you just teleporting out of people's ways a lot of people you'll see a lot of wizards out there that just go around they're spraying the whole time running around keeping their armor active and then anytime it's there they'll teleport go invisible i don't like the teleport feature just because i like to try and help finish off the target so i'm always auto attacking and increased damage is just nice to me so hope you enjoy the build hope you enjoy this video and let me know what you think
<sighs> you guys got that covered? All right, good. They're literally running backwards now. <sighs> he does whatever he wants, never listens. It's fun. I want to try it with uh, four piece gloom. Yeah, <laughs> I'm using four piece grace, two piece urge.
don't know how to play Monk very well. It's cool to watch. Yo, what up, Bishop? Um, pretty boring. Like, now that I've accomplished mastery level, got the stupid meta build, like, there really is no real effort. But we plan on going DH here soon. Oh, that's great. Proct at the end of a match. Like 26, 4, and 15. I had 31 and 3 the last match. And I'm not even doing what a lot of people are doing where they wear the invisible helmet. I'm using teleport does increase damage. All right, so if you like this video and you stuck it out to the end, I did a, both a defense and an attack match to showcase. Uh, hit that like down below. Hit that subscribe button so you get notifications when I do post new videos, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye, guys.